guys, welcome back to Zolzop 2. So we have week two of Operation Villains. Actually, uh, correction, it's actually five days after week two began. And the battle against Evil Sheet Leader is literally in a day. Yeah, I apologize for getting out this video later than usual. Hopefully, week three will actually be on the right day. Let's hope at least. Now, point of week two. Oh. Oh, it's bad. You thought week one was bad? Oh, it's worse. Way worse. Now, here's the thing. Yeah, this, for some reason, still is a bit destroyed. However, we have a bit of an update. Apparently, we have no new message from them, which is pretty weird. But, this happened. Evil Chief Leader, Evil Cloak, and Master Evil Longer is left. Yep, that's right. They have officially taken over the lab. Well, almost entirely. Because there is nothing new here in the lab office. Aside from the basement still being there. Uh, besides that, not really much has generally changed. Well, that's weird. That's why. I don't know why that's still there. Uh... But anyway. Okay, the pool's drained out. That's really weird. Uh, but guys. Um, so there's not really anything interesting up here. Yeah, you'd probably think there would have been. But apparently, I checked. There is literally nothing up here in the lab office. The flower shop. Or, of course, you know, the roof itself. I know, that was actually really weird. You'd think something would be here, but nope, apparently not. Um, it actually is the entire downstairs of the lab. And when I saw it... Oh. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, well, we're gonna head down right now, and, um... Yeah. Oh, are we ready? Are we seriously ready for this? Oh. Oh, I'm not ready for this, but we must we must head down there if we want to see what the heck happened. Oh, this is way worse than the previous week. You really thought week one was bad? Yeah, that's nothing compared to this. Three, two, one. Oh. My. God. Look at this. Oh my god! Look at this! It is completely different! Evil Sheep Leader turned the entire lab into freaking lava. He has never done that before! And I can't believe it took him this long to finally come up with an ingenious idea like that. Because holy frick, he should have started doing that ages ago. But thankfully he didn't. Oh! Oh, this is bad. Majorly bad. And, wow. Seriously, that is absolutely insane. I mean, look at this madness. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was a complete unexpected surprise. To come down here, only to see that it's completely covered in lava. Yup, the floor is completely gone. Literally. The floor is lava now. Literally. And this time it ain't actually a joke. No, this time it actually is lava. Which is absolutely insane. Basically anything that used to be here in the lab is uh, completely gone now. Well, a good majority of it is here still. But oh my god, even the lights were updated. <laughs> I guess they were not messing around, and oh boy, they aren't. With phase three in like two days? Oh, that's probably gonna be even worse. I bet by then, we're probably not gonna be able to go in here. Since I technically already revealed what phase three is, yeah, there's no way we're going back in here after phase two is over. All this is not looking good. Oh. Oh, looking at this, really, oh, looking at this makes me feel very uncomfortable here. Looking at this right now feels 
Makes me feel very uncomfortable here. I think they're doing this on purpose to make us leave this lab entirely. I'm probably right about that. Now, here's the thing. This has never actually happened. This is actually the first time in around six years that the lab of the downstairs gets completely wrecked. And by completely wrecked, I mean changed into something completely different. And I'm already stuck here, dang it. Also, why does that keep lighting on fire? I get it's because of the lava, but oh boy. And that crafting table. I get it's because of the lava's here, but wow. And I'm surprised that wool did not burn on fire for some reason. That should have burned on fire. That should have turned into lava. But oh boy. Guess it says otherwise. Oh, okay. Now I can actually see why it looks like this. And wow, okay. They did nothing to the HQ. Maybe they're secretly planning it for the final phase. Oh. If I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna say that right now. I'm gonna say that they're purposely saving to invade the HQ in the final phase. I'm gonna call that right now, and if I'm correct in around a week... Oh, that's gonna be cool. Yep, I'm gonna call that right now. I'm gonna call it right now and say that they are gonna invade the HQ fully on phase 4 and week 4 on St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna call it right now, and watch and see if I'm actually right. Seriously, I'm actually gonna... I would be very surprised if I'm actually right. Uh, nothing down here. Okay, I can I can see why it looks like this. Apparently, the chests weren't actually removed, apparently. That's actually really good. Oh, boy. This is nuts. Yep. It, this is not snow land anymore. It's lava land. Basically, this entire lab is lava land. Dang it. Oh boy. Why do they do this? This is probably the most hardcore they have ever gone to this lab. No, instead of it just being like a single room, just like Lab of Doom. Oh no, this ain't no Lab of Doom room. No, if they invaded the entire lab filled with lava, they aren't messing around anymore. And I can see why. I guess they're doing whatever it takes for us to leave this entire lab. Little do they know that that's not going to actually happen. Apparently, they believe that's going to make us leave the lab, but in reality, we're way too smart for that. We're obviously going to stay as long as possible and get them out of here. Oh, and you bet once uh, March 23rd rolls around, oh, you bet we're going to get rid of these guys ASAP. Of course they'll come back in the next few months for Operation Dome. As they'll often see revenge. So no matter what, we're still going to be dealing with these guys for a long time, even after this. But I will admit, even though this is bad, really bad, for some reason I actually kind of like it. Even though this is meant to be bad, for some reason I'm really liking all these phases for some reason, even though they are generally destroyed destroying this lab, which by the way, I'm pretty sure you all have managed to notice by now. Yeah, literally every single wall is gone. It's all turned into lava, which is insane. Just toying you guys around this because we are probably not going to be seeing the lab again for another week or so. Because for phase three, I found out and I announced in the sunny vlog that Evil Clark will trap us in the past. And apparently, Golgat33 found out that he is going to be trapping us in the lab corruption day. And we mean the literal day this world got corrupted. I don't mean when it disappeared originally. No, I mean the original corruption day. November 23rd, 2017. And since that day was the corruption day of the lab, the entire lab was corrupted, meaning we couldn't go into the lab at all. And generally, that is the smartest idea I think Evil Cook has ever come up with. Dang, finally he gets something right. Oh. Oh, that's a really smart move. Yeah, because on corruption day, we couldn't get into the lab at all because it was corrupted. Looks like, because I guess also because this year is, I guess indeed, the fifth anniversary of the corruption, at least in November that will be on November 23rd. 
Um, I guess we're going back to that day to make us prevent from going back inside, which means by the next time we see the lab, it's going to be week four, because eventually we're going to find our way to break out of the past and make our way back here before more destruction is done. So more is going to be going on here. This is definitely something that I'm pretty sure nobody was expecting. Honestly, from anyone here. Oh boy. Uh, by the way, I think the basement... Oh my god, yep, the basement is still open. I'm surprised this is still open. But apparently, let's see what happens if we go down here. Actually, I think this is one of the only rooms I have still not seen yet. Okay, I'm actually generally, again, surprised the basement is actually still open. Oh! Okay, this is basically exactly the same. I thought it was going to look entirely different. Okay, I was proven wrong. My bad. I guess it looks exactly the same, besides a, a bit of lava down there. And I guess this bed is still here because... Well, I don't know. I am surprised this room didn't get burned up! I think this is the only room in the lab besides the HQ that actually still lives. And also, again, besides the dojos. Speaking of which, how did the dojos not get affected? And secondly, how did this room and the HQ all did not get affected? How? No, like, seriously, how in the absolute heck did this room alongside the HQ and the dojos all not get affected? That's really weird. Because all of them should have gotten affected alongside these rooms. Now, what did the underground part room go? That's another room I still haven't seen yet. Let's see. Have ourselves a look. Oh! Okay, this still looks exactly the same. I guess they wanted to keep the room like this, and I can kind of understand why. Because the room already is indeed invaded. So I guess there's no need to do anything else to it. And who knows how long the lab's gonna look like this. Probably until the event is over, if I had to assume. But either way, wow. That was a lot to go through. And yes, let's go see if I'm actually right about the uh, dojos not being affected. Nope, they are not affected at all. I am generally surprised that, um, uh, uh uh, that these rooms aren't affected. I thought that they would put these rooms to good use, but oh well. But actually, that's really good that they didn't, because we could have had even more destruction. Oh boy. Actually, the sky should have looked like that. Yeah, because we're getting closer and closer to being back in the daytime. That's what the sky should have looked like. There we go. Yeah, because we're getting closer and closer to being back at daytime. Oh boy, this is nuts. My god, I did not think that a single redstone torch could grant all this power. A single redstone torch, mind you. Literally. Did any of you forget that we're going after a godforsaken redstone torch and it can grant all this? How is that possible? Okay. I can understand doing it with all the banners, because, let's be honest, it's just their first phase. But how could it do all of this? It is insane that all of that could be used for this. And, actually, I never got to see the icon on the mission board. Let's see. Redecorate the lab in lava. That was by Evil Sheet Leader. And I guess we still gotta fix this, but oh, Okay, I have not seen this yet, and yeah, that's actually really bad. Uh, can, we can't even get down here. Okay, I guess the underwater room- Oh, wait, 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 that's right, because the lab ain't flooded anymore. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, apparently when all the lava came here, apparently this whole entire room got unflooded. I guess that's kind of good, considering we've gotten a lot of water floods around here lately, just because of it being here. You, re you remember how it was used during the Summer Jam Ultimate back in August? Yeah, that's apparently gone now, but I think it's honestly for the better, considering... Uh, no matter how many times we would just break open the ceiling of the Snowland, it would just grant water all over the place. It would just literally 
flood the place with water and that would get really annoying after a while. Also, we would see water droplets coming from the ceiling because of that. That also got a bit annoying after a while, so I guess... I guess we gotta thank them for draining all the water. I guess that's one thing we can thank Evil Street Leader for. <laughs> oh boy. But, uh, point is... Yeah, we gotta fix this. Uh, yeah, uh, what the whole lab is back in order again. Cause, oh boy, yeah, this is trashed. Okay, thankfully it's only over there and not over here. Thank God it isn't, because, uh, yeah, that would have been bad. Either way, we can just make our way out of here now. And yes, that is Rose Crystal. Uh... Now, uh, with that being said, I think that's it, actually. I'm surprised the slide has still not been updated. Maybe in the fourth week. Uh, anyway. Point is... Uh... Yeah, that's basically it for the video guys that was a lot to take in jeez that was really a lot to take in oh but uh we're not done we actually have to come back literally in a day to battle evil sheet leader the evil sheet leader robot to be exact with him inside that i know normally it would only be six days after showcasing phase two and also um, just six days after the phase in general coming out. But I showcased it, uh, six days, I showcased it five days late. But again, let's hope this is the only time that happens. With all that being said, I'll see you all in the next episode on March 9th. And with all, without further ado, I'll see you all next time. And maybe next time they'll have a message for us. Oh wait, that's right. It'll be the past. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. November 23rd, 2017 was one of the most horrible days of all time in Zolzop 2. The day it was corrupted. Why do they do this to us? Okay, okay, okay. I'm only just messing around. I will admit that's actually kind of a smart move. Guys, we won't be able to get inside the lab during that time. Uh... You know, uh, because it'll be like the lab's corrupted and stuff. That's a really smart move, but also that day was one of the worst days in ZL2 history. And I guess Evil Click wants to torture us <laughs> by going back to that horrendous day. Which, speaking of which, that was also Thanksgiving Day of 2017. How something that big could happen on a single holiday. That's insane.